Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to test how much weaker steel and aluminium pipes get when they get dented or damaged in other ways. And I got the idea from my own fat bike that has a dent on its frame. I have been riding it like this many years, but I wonder how much it's going to affect there. Of course with the press and the tooling that we have, I cannot test all the different scenarios how you can load the pipe. We are going to just test the compressing the pipes and how the dents affect on that. But I think you get the general idea from that. And uh, I think we are going to start with the round steel tubes and after that we have square aluminium tubes. Okay, here is the first test subject. And under the uh, test pipe I have our 240 ton force sensor. So we can see the force being applied to the pipe and it saves the peak value that is the highest force before the pipe bends. And I think I'm going to do two benchmark pipes without any damage. So we can see that we can get like uh, relatively same results on each cross. Uh, I cut this with the band saw to same length, all of these and then machine at the uh, ends completely straight with a lathe. So we should get pretty much the same results every time. Okay, that was 14 tons. And just for fun, let's finish it off. This time it was 17 tons, 850 kilos. So it seems that there is going to be some differences between each pipe. I think it's just about luck how they start to go. So let's see how the uh, dented ones go. Okay, and since seems that this is not going to be the most exact science experiment ever, I'm going to make pretty good dent on the pipe. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can now see the dent nicely. I think that's going to make actually quite big difference. I say that it's only going to be five tons. do anything. It was just as strong as before. Uh, okay, I'm going to do even bigger dent. Okay, now we have a huge dent there and if that doesn't make a difference then nothing will. Yeah, with that dent, it started to load very unevenly. So that makes a difference, but that was way smaller difference than I thought. And I also got uh, this, this pipe and I made small, small extra cut here. So let's see how this is going to react. I think this might make larger difference than dent. That was also a surprising result. 
didn't seem to make almost much difference at all. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more of these. Let's make a cut, but let's make it run like 45 degrees and see how that's going to affect. Okay, this looks interesting. Yeah, that looks so bad, but still hardly any difference of the actual strength of the pipe. That's really surprising. I never thought that the, like damage like this wouldn't affect a lot. Yeah, let's try the aluminium ones also. Yeah, I think I think I think this counts as and like uh, serious damage for aluminium pipe. But let's see what is the difference. How much was it? Like six, seven hundred kilos less. So about seven percent difference. But it uh, clearly, uh, clearly went from the dent. So it made a some difference, even if it was small. Yeah, but in general, I thought that especially on this, this way where there has to be some like weak point where it starts to go. The dents and other damage would make more difference, but seems to make very, very little difference. Of course, it might, on actual use, there must, might be some like stress points. So when you do like tens of thousands of like load cycles, then the cracks start to form much easier than on like uniform structure. So that might be the case. But at least here on like plant force compression test, very little difference, even with the large damage. Yeah, and I think I could do a video where I test some like items like car jacks or something like that, with and without damage. So if you have good ideas what items I should test like that, please let me know. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.